Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft video and today I'll be showing you how to get items with custom names or with colors and with custom style text. And before we start this video, I will kindly ask you to like and subscribe or else I will find where you live and replace all your furniture with cheese. Alright, for the first step, like every other command block tutorial, you need to get yourself a command block. So get yourself a wonderful command block, then place it, get a button, then open the command block. Now with the same command from earlier, you can give yourself a command block, but you can also give yourself anything else, like sponge. But why do I choose sponge? Simple, it looks like cheese. But you probably already know that, so let's get to the part where we actually give our items a custom name. So we're going to put in two curly brackets just like this, and in here you're going to type in display. Then you're going to add in a colon, then two more curly brackets, then put in name. After that you're going to put another colon and two hyphens, and in between them you're going to put in even more curly brackets. And within these two curly brackets we're going to put in our name. So to actually do that we need two quotes, within them you're going to put in text, after the quotes you're going to put in a colon, two more quotes, and then whatever you put at the end. Then you're going to hit done, press the button, now you got yourself some jazz. You like jazz? <gasps> now you probably want to give your text some colors. After the quotes, you can put in a comma, two more quotes, then you're going to put in the word color. After that, you're going to put in a colon, two more quotes, and the color of your choice. I am choosing gold. Then you can hit done, press the button, now you got some golden jazz. But what if you wanted your text to be multicolored? Well, I got you. So in the command block, you're going to put in a square bracket between the hyphen and the curly bracket on each side. Then after our jazz, we're going to put in a comma, two more curly brackets, and then the same code. And here we can change the color to blue. Then you can hit done, press the button, and now you've got multicolored text. And just to make it look better, I'm going to put a space right before the hello. -er. That looks better. And you can add as many lines as you want. And now we can move on to stylized text. So let's make jazz bold. So right here between the quotes and the curly bracket, we're going to put in a comma, two more quotes, bold, colon, two more quotes, true. Then you can hit done, press the button, now you got some bold jazz. As you can see, when you change the word jazz to bold, the other two words also inherited their code. So for the other code, you have to be more specific and make sure that bold for the others will equal false. That's a bit better. But you can do more than just make it bold. You can also make it underlined. Boom, the word hello is underlined. And just to make it look better, I'm going to change the words up a bit. And finally, we can do italic. Now as default, italic is automatically set to true on all words. So if you make it false, now the words are up straight. Look at them dancing. And for the final stylized option, you can get obfuscated. So if you set that to true, now you can't read a single thing. That seems like a lot, but wait, there's more. Have you ever looked at an item and you can see this text right under the name? That is called law. So to do that, right after the hyphen at the end, you're going to put in a comma, then type in law. Then you're going to put in a colon, then two square brackets. Then in here, you're going to put in two hyphens, then two more square brackets. Then in here, you put in curly brackets. Oh, this is like building a house in text. Then in here, you can just type in the code that you've learned. Seems about right. Hit done, press the button. And now that's your law of your item. And just like the custom name, we can also give it custom colors and styles. But law is a bit special. Right after the hyphen, before the square bracket, you can put in a comma, two more hyphens. Then in here, you can just type in exactly the same like last time. You can add, oh, a bit too much. You can add multiple lines. But I think there is a limit of how many you can actually add. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you learned something new, and goodbye. You like jazz? <gasps>